We'll be looking at the monarch of the Kingdom of Great Britain after the political union of England and Scotland on the 1st of May 1707 to date. There have been 13 British monarchs since the political union of the Kingdom of England and the Kingdom of Scotland on the 1st of May 1707. England and Scotland had been in personal union since the 24th of March 1603. On the 1st of January 1801, the Kingdom of Great Britain and the Kingdom of Ireland merged, which resulted in the creation of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, which became the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland on the secession of Southern Ireland in the 1920s. Number 1. From the 8th of March 1702 to the 1st of May 1707, Queen Anne ruled over England, Scotland, and Ireland. The Acts of Union, which were passed on May 1st 1707, brought together the kingdoms of England and Scotland into one independent nation known as Great Britain. The Act of Settlement 1701, passed by Parliament during the reign of Queen Anne, established the succession laws and designated Sophia of Hanover, the granddaughter of James VI and I, and her non-Catholic offspring as the next in line to the throne. King George I, the son of Sophia, succeeded Queen Anne as monarch because Sophia had already passed away. Due to the fact that both Queen Anne and King George I were great-grandchildren of James I and VI, they were second cousins, and continued to reign as Queen of Great Britain and Ireland until her death in 1714. She reigned for twelve years. 147 days. All British monarchs succeeding Queen Anne have inherited the crown through primogeniture. Number 2. From the 1st of August 1714 until his death in 1727, King George I ruled over both Great Britain and Ireland as well as the electorate of Hanover within the Holy Roman Empire. He was the first Hanoverian King of Great Britain. His era lasted 12 years and 315 days. Number 3, from June 11, 1727, until his death in 1760, King George II reigned as the King of Great Britain and Ireland, the Duke of Brunswick on Quarterneburg, Hanover, and a Prince Elector of the Holy Roman Empire. For 33 years and 126 days, he was King. Number 4. King George III had the longest reign among kings uh, in British history from the 25th of October 1760 to the Union of Great Britain and Ireland on the 1st of January 1801, when he became the monarch of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland until his death in 1820. He had a 59-year. 97 day reign number 5 from the death of his father king george the 3rd on january 29 1820 until his own passing 10 years later king george the 4th reigned as both the king of hanover and the united kingdom of great britain and ireland he had been serving as prince regent from the 5th of february 1811 during his father's terminal mental illness, at the time of his ascension to the throne. 149 days and 10 years. Number 6, from June 26, 1830, until his passing in 1837, King William IV reigned as both the King of Hanover and the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. William, the third child of George III, followed his older brother George IV as king, making him the last and second to last head of the House of Hanover in Britain. 360 days and six years made up his reign. Number 7, from the 20th of June 1837 until her passing in 1901, Queen Victoria reigned over the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. The Victorian era is named after her 63-year and 7-month reign, 
which was the longest of any previous British ruler. The United Kingdom was a time of significant industrial, political, scientific, and military development, and the British Empire significantly expanded during this time. She received the extra title of Empress of India in 1876 thanks to a resolution in the British Parliament. She had a 63-year 217 day reign number 8 from january 22nd 1901 till his passing in 1910 king edward the seventh reigned as emperor of india king of the united kingdom of great britain and ireland and the british dominions he was in power for nine years and 105 days number nine from May 6, 1910, until his passing in 1936, King George V reigned as Emperor of India, King of the United Kingdom, and King of the British Dominions. He ruled for 260 days and 25 years. Number 10. From January 20, 1936, until his abdication in December of the same year, King Edward VIII reigned as Emperor of India, King of the United Kingdom, and Dominions of the British Empire. He had a 327-day reign. Number 11, from December 11, 1936, until his death in 1952. King George VI reigned over the British Commonwealth Dominions as well as the United Kingdom. Prior to the British Raj's dissolution in August 1947, he served as India's final emperor. He was in power for 15 years and 58 days. Number 12 From the 6th of February 1952 to her passing in 2022, Queen Elizabeth II ruled the United Kingdom and other Commonwealth territories. During her lifetime, she held the regency over 32 sovereign states, and there were 15 at the time of her passing. Ah, her 70 years and 214 days of reigning are the longest of any British monarch, the longest of any woman to hold the office of head of state in history and the second longest train that has been independently authenticated of any monarch in history. She ruled for 70 years and 214 days. And number 13. The United Kingdom and 14 other Commonwealth Kingdoms are ruled by King Charles III. Upon the passing of his mother, Elizabeth II, on September 8, 2022, he succeeded to the throne. He held the position of rightful heir for the longest period of time in British history and, at 73, was the oldest person to ascend to the throne. He currently reigns as King of the United Kingdom. Please, like and subscribe. Press the notification bell to be notified about our latest updates. Thanks for listening and watching.